Spoiler alert, so if you watch it, you don't uh, have to, if you do watch it at night like I do, then shut your ears, go in the other room. And of course, I watched it last night, the swimming, which was kind of neat, uh, the women's skateboarding, uh, in which 95% of the skateboarders fell, and it's expected at some of the uh, tricks. Now, what's going on in Japan? Well, uh, in some events, uh, the start time has been moved 6.30 a.m. in an effort to beat the heat. Temperatures reached 85 degrees, relative humidity of 67.1, that's humid. And athletes are continuing to wilt. And here's what's being said. Uh, Japan lied to the IOC about Tokyo. What Japan said in its pitch, with many days of mild and sunny weather, this period provides an ideal climate for athletes to perform their best. That's an official quote from the proposal to host the 2020 Summer Games. Now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that Tokyo in July is not a fun place, place to be. It's hot and humid, and while the indoor events aren't at all affected, of course, the swimming, because it's an enclosed area, I'll tell you what is affected. Uh, the outdoor events. Tennis, beach volleyball, cycling, and uh, this is tro this is tropical weather. Triple digit heat index. So uh, look at the finish line, the men's triathlon. Uh, triathlon. Look like a battlefield in uh, which they were mowed down. Serbian tennis star Novak Djokovic. Uh, I'm sorry that playing in extreme heat and humidity is very challenging. And here's the accusation. Japan knew it was lying. Why? Because they live there. That's why. There is an A resident of Tokyo that would describe midsummer as mild or ideal. Matter of fact, uh, 2014, right after Tokyo was awarded uh, the uh, bid, uh, the uh, Japan, uh, the Japan, Japan Times wondered, what is going on here? Uh, the author of the article said, I've been to Manila, Bangkok, Jakarta, Phnom Penh, Singapore in the middle of the summer, and Tokyo is worse than all of them. The only places that could be worse to stage the Olympus game would be in Death Valley or the Horn of Africa. Even beyond that, the last time Tokyo hosted the Summer Games was back in 1964. And you know when the Summer Games were held? In October of 1964. And why is that? Because 
summer in Tokyo is hot and humid. That's why. So why do they do it? Knowing there's heat, knowing the athletes are going to suffer, and the, uh, the staff, all the referees, etc. Why would they do it? No, well, there's a very good reason. If they start between mid-July and late August, the television ratings are far higher around the world. More people watch television at that time than any other time. And look at the amount of money that the television networks are paying to the Olympics. In the United States, I think NBC has paid, and I don't know how many more Olympics, two or three more, $7.1 billion. That's the United States. How about other countries in the world that have big population? Germany, France, first world countries. I mean, they're paying billions of dollars. Now, granted, you have uh, small third world countries, particularly in Africa, that pay $12.86 for their rights to the Olympics. But if NBC is paying $7.1 billion, I would love to know how much other countries are paying for the rights. And the IOC keeps the money because the IOC doesn't put on the games. The cities do. And so the cities go broke. The IOC gets all the money. Now they can, if they want, share the money. But the, uh, but the IOC doesn't have to. And so the IOC is awash in money. Cities put on games uh, to the point where it's usually billions of dollars of deficit. Except for Los Angeles. The only two times in the history of the modern Olympics has a city made a profit on the Olympics, and that was 1932 Los Angeles Games and 1984 Los Angeles Games. China, I heard, spent $60 billion. And if you look at their stadiums, they're incredible. They're also empty, incidentally. They're falling apart. But they wanted to come out to the world. They wanted to introduce themselves to the world. Well, no kidding. They certainly did. So, can't wait to see how much Tokyo loses. I know Rio lost a fortune. Montreal almost went broke. Coming up, the gas engines, uh, the electric engines, the people behind them, and we're set for electric cars, aren't we? Well, hold on a minute. It's not that simple. We'll do that when we come back. KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. Untangling the mess until it makes sense. KFI and KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Air Radio app. Keeping an eye on it, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The number of people in a hospital with COVID-19 keeps going up in L.A. County. Numbers provided by the County Health Department show over the last week, hospitalizations went up 36%. Last Monday, 528 people were being treated for the virus. As of Saturday, it was 716, 21% of whom are in the ICU. The number of deaths has remained steady since July 10th. The seven-day average has been three. As of Saturday, the seven-day average dropped to two per day. The health department cautions the numbers may fluctuate because of delayed reporting from other agencies. Steve Gregory, KFI News. Another hearing is scheduled in the Britney Spears conservatorship case. Today's hearing will possibly finalize her personal conservator's request for compensation for protection coming from Spears' comments in court last month when she lashed out at most people involved in her conservatorship, especially her father. Jody Montgomery says there's been an increase in threats against her since then. More information has emerged on a man from Oakview who is due in court today for allegedly firing a gun at Ventura County Sheriff's helicopters. Police say the man shot at the chopper last Wednesday night during a training event at the Lake Casitas area. The pilot had been able to follow and locate the suspect, 
The shooter was arrested the following morning on several charges, including assault with a firearm on a peace officer and suspicion of attempted murder. The helicopter was not damaged. The Biden administration's top infectious disease expert says the U.S. is going the wrong direction when it comes to COVID-19. Dr. Anthony Fauci told CNN the problem is being caused by so many people not being vaccinated. We're in a situation where we're having a lot of dynamics of infection. So even if you are vaccinated, you should wear a mask. That's a local decision that's not incompatible with the CDC's overall recommendations. Fauci says the feds are considering making vaccinated people wear masks, too. The Utah Highway Patrol says at least seven people have been killed in a 20-car pileup caused by a sandstorm on the 15. The crash happened yesterday afternoon near the, town of Kino- near the town of Kenosha. The Highway Patrol says high winds caused the sandstorm, which reduced visibility. A civil rights activist who suffered physical pain in the fight against Jim Crow and segregation has died. ABC's Chuck Siebertson says Robert Moses was shot at, beaten up, and jailed while leading black voter registration drives in the South in the 1960s. Moses was a Mississippi field director of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. He was involved in the 1964 Freedom Summer, in which hundreds of students went to the South to register voters. Moses was 86. There's your warning. In the Olympic debut of skateboarding, American Jagger Eaton has won the bronze. Anastasia Zlotik won the first USA gold medal in women's taekwondo. And in fencing, Lee Kiefer has won the gold in the U.S. in women's individual foil. The U.S. Olympic softball team will bat as the home team in the gold medal game against Japan. The U.S. beat Japan 2-1 in the final game of opening play yesterday. The American team includes three players from Orange County and one from L.A. County. And medal winners at the Tokyo Olympics will get to show off their smiles under new masking rules. IOC spokesman Mark Adams says medalists will be allowed to take off their masks briefly when they get their medals. Give uh, those athletes who have been competing, when everyone else has stepped back, the chance to remove their masks for 30 seconds, staying on their steps for a photo. Due to the COVID-19 safety precautions, no fans are allowed to attend any games, events, and masks are mandatory in Tokyo. Let's take a look at that drive. Where are you heading, Jeff? If you bet you're well, let's start with downtown Los Angeles, the four level. I was thinking you should keep that warning, warning thing for traffic reports coming up, but the four level Great has idea. been rough all morning, and it's, yeah, it still is. Uh, going north 110, the Harbor Freeway to north 101, still a little bit of a struggle. It's getting better than it was, believe it or not, if you're coming up from South LA. Uh, the West 10 and North 101 merge, that's always kind of tough, but the good news here, if there is some, once you get past Alvarado, uh, things are pretty good. Uh, I want to warn you about West LA now, Pacific Palisades, the Vanguard PCH, yep, signals out, it is a free-for-all, it's not supposed to be a free-for-all, if you think it's tough for you, imagine being a pedestrian or a bicycle rider, it's a four-way stop, delays are building. And Long Beach to East LA now, North 710, Florence around Firestone. Problems continue there. It's real tough getting through the 105. North of Florence, finally, things are pretty good. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Baugh, KFI in the Sky. If you're looking to get out of your house, doesn't matter what the reason is, uh, you're downsizing, uh, you're moving someplace else, uh, you've got financial issues, you've inherited the home, you're going, now what do I do with it? So usually you call a realtor. And the realtor comes out and tells you got to clean, you got to paint, you got to repair, uh, you got to take all those tchotchkes out of your house and put them in a closet. Well, let me tell you a different way of doing it. Getting a fair price without any of that hassle. No buyer ever walks through your house, so you can keep your tchotchkes wherever you want. Uh, You can sell the house without an appraisal. No commissions. You get paid in cash. And within 10 days, I mean fast, that's directbuyers.com. Directbuyers.com. Janet and Matt, uh, the owners, brother and sister, they're just good people. A lot of schmucks out there in this business. Uh, they're not. They are honest. Matter of fact, they'll give you an honest, no obligation offer. Uh, they can even give you a $15,000 cash advance before closing to help with your move. They'll never lowball you. That's directbuyers.com. Call 844 242 sell directbuyers.com 
Income eligible renters impacted by COVID-19 can now get 100% of their past due rent and utility bills paid through the California COVID-19 Rent Relief Program. Landlords with tenants who haven't paid rent because of COVID-19 are eligible for 100% reimbursement too. The application is fast, your information is private, and you won't be asked about citizenship. Apply at housingiskey.com before eviction protections end on September 30th. Brought to you by the California Department of Housing and Community Development. Your KFI Financial Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is down 51, S&P down 2, NASDAQ is down 9. Gold is 1,800 an ounce and oil is 71.61 a barrel. The KFI Money Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. Protect your business with a monitored video verification system. Visit BayAlarm.com to get protected today. Here's SoCal weather from KFI. It's a cloudy day with a chance of showers and thunderstorms all day long. Temperatures will be cooler than average. We'll be in the upper 60s at the beaches, upper 70s for Orange County and Metro LA, upper 80s for the valleys in the Inland Empire. Right now it's 68 in Orange, 67 in Lake Forest, 69 in Baldwin Park, 66 in Pacoima. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jen for Jones Lee. <laughs> July 26. Some of the stories that we are carrying, uh, and uh, that is uh, how much health care can Democrats uh, cram into that $3.5 trillion package, and QR codes. Last night, the restaurant. I'm making a big deal about restaurants because I haven't been to many. Uh, the menu was on a QR code, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, also, a couple of bits of news. Convicted serial killer Rodney Alcala, who once appeared on the dating game, the TV show, died of uh, natural causes at Corcoran, uh, Corcoran State Prison. And he was known as a dating game prisoner. I mean, he murdered people. It was a bad guy. No information as to whether he was chosen or not. He was. He won a date. Wow. Yeah. Just imagine you were the winner of the date with that guy who was a serial killer. Wow. And I understand he was a pretty funny guy, and his date said, You're killing me! Oh. Move on. I'll move on. There's a story in the Wall Street Journal I want to share with you. And uh, it's about a guy named Stephen Pinkovich. He was at Ford Motor Company for 36 years, and he was part of the Detroit engineers that worked on the internal combustion engine. And that was a, a big part of uh, Ford and all the other manufacturers, too. But by last year, all the excitement of building a new engine, um, a new motor, gone. Uh, the projects were no longer about advancing the engine, new technology. It was about just nursing along existing technology. The buzz had shifted to electric vehicles. So he took an early retirement. So here's a bit of history. For more than a century, automakers worked on their gas and diesel engines. That was the end all be end. And they designed greater power, better fuel efficiency, more durability, a, a, a smoother ride. And now the biggest uh, car companies in the world are sending those combustion engines right into the scrap heap. And they're pouring billions of dollars into the electric motors and battery factories. Well, Tesla built the largest battery factory in the world in Reno, Nevada. And that's no longer going to be the largest in the world within a, a couple of years. Now, you're not seeing that on the showroom floor. You'll see one or two electric vehicles, but the vast majority of vehicles are the internal combustion engine. But while that's going on, uh, the automotive workplace, and we're talking about for engineering ranks, supply chains, all of it, is being turned, uh, literally turned over. 
And it's not only the car companies, it's the parts makers uh, that made the same pieces for engines and transmissions, and boy, they better switch over to electric components or they're in deep trouble. And that's not easy to do. And then you have unions that work on the cars in the U.S. and Europe. And they're not thrilled because it takes 30% less manpower to produce an electric vehicle. And just here in the U.S., tens of thousands of U.S. jobs are at stake. Oh, I can't wait to see what the uh, union officials say. So it's gone from spending decades on making cars more muscly, better cars. I mean, today's cars are phenomenal relative to 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Electric cars are still only 5% of the global market, but Mercedes-Benz is going to go all electric by the end of the decade. General Motors will go fully electric by 2035. And while developing a new gas engine can cost about a billion dollars, hundreds of suppliers, uh, you know what's going on now? Uh, that's all stopping. It used to be uh, between 20 and 70 new engines uh, being developed across the globe. This year, below 10. And then it's going to go to zero. So why is it that the car companies are moving balls to the wall for electric vehicles, and yet at the same time, the showrooms don't show it? Well, because of the lead time. I mean, it just takes 10 years to develop, uh, well, a brand new car takes five or six years, and that's with an internal combustion engine when they switch models. When you're dealing with a brand new technology, and it's uh, an entire turnaround for the car industry, now they really have their work cut out for them. So keep in mind the next two, three, five years, and you're going to look back and say, well, there were a lot of internal combustion engines out there or cars. Now look what's happening. And you're going to see more and more people jumping into the fray. I think my next car is going to be an electric car. Now, there's some problems with those, too. Because charging them at home, what do you do with a power outage? You don't have fuel. So... It's not all that easy either, but it's a sea change. And you have, of course, uh, the fossil fuel emissions that virtually disappear. All right, coming up, uh, what happens if, actually what happens when the Supreme Court throws out Roe v. Wade? That's coming up, KFI AM 640, and your chance to win some money. Let's not forget that. All right, Jennifer. Four police officers will testify about January's attack on the Capitol. They'll speak tomorrow at the first meeting of the House Select Committee investigating the riot. President Biden supports a Senate filibuster, even if that makes it harder to get his infrastructure bill passed. A draft of that bill could be ready for lawmakers to see as soon as today. And the Secretary of State under former President Trump is scheduled to appear at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley. Mike Pompeo will be the third speaker in the Time for Choosing series. Series. He will be there today. We'll take a look at your drive with DKFI in the sky and the 101 next. If you own a business and you pay payroll taxes for five or more employees, let me tell you about a new government program that rebates you up to $20,000 per cash employee. Now, that's a lot of money. The problem is knowing how to get that money. Now, did your accountant tell you about this? No, uh, because that's not what accountants do. That's not in their wheelhouse. But let me tell you what is in the wheelhouse of InnovationRefunds.com. InnovationRefunds.com uh, got me and my partner a six-figure refund. And we went, whoa. Now, InnovationRefunds.com, their CPAs know exactly how to access these tax rebate programs. They do all the legwork, no upfront costs, and they simply share a percentage of the cash they get back for you. 
It helped over 6,000 businesses get back over $450 million, including mine. I wish it was that much. InnovationRefunds.com can help you get up to $20,000 per employee. Go to InnovationRefunds.com and click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions. InnovationRefunds.com, InnovationRefunds.com. Need a new water heater? Water heaters only. With over 53 years in business, offers low prices, quality same-day service, and for a limited time, monthly payments as low as $89 for a water heater replacement. Visit waterheatersonly.com. Terms and conditions apply. SoCal weather from KFI, mostly cloudy day ahead with showers and thunderstorms and highs in the upper 60s to the upper 80s. This report is brought to you by Water Heaters Only. Let's take a look at that ride on the 101. You betcha. Well, this section of the 101, we're going to talk about the uh, eastbound Ventura Freeway, Calabasas in towards Encino. Uh, eastbound 101 around Valley Circle, coming down the hill, there's a car hit a sign, another car hit the car that hits the sign. There's a lot of activity there, so uh, please be careful getting through. Once you get all through that, uh, you won't be affected. But as a matter of fact, a pretty easy drive towards the 405. Not too bad at all. The other end of the San Fernando Valley, now Mission Hills, North 405 at the 118. I don't know why, but we've had so much debris, reports of debris all over the place. Sure enough, there is some up there. Again, that's North 405 past the 118. Be careful. Pasadena, I can't hit this enough. This has been a long plane problem, believe it or not. If you're just uh, expecting to make an easy drive from Glendale out to Ir Irwindale, eastbound 210 on Madre Street, still in Pasadena. That all ends blocked again. It was a rig that wound up on the tracks, believe it or not, so they're still trying to clear it. Still a little slow coming through westbound, slow but moving from the 605. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Baugh, KFI in the Sky. This report is sponsored by iAccidentLawyer.com. I Accident Lawyer, actual client. I was hit on a motorcycle by a truck, resulting in serious leg injury. My first lawyer downplayed it then. I called iAccidentLawyer.com. They got me $8 million on my first home of cash, and I got savings for the rest of my life. Thank you, iAccidentLawyer.com. Attorney Robert Coney, results fair, not a guarantee. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Your first step towards your dream kitchen should be a totally free in-showroom consultation with my friends at the Kitchen Store. Experienced kitchen designers, a 7,000 square foot showroom, state-of-the-art computer design, 12 months same as cash financing, pricing that beats the big boxes, all right off the 405 in Culver City. For more than 50 years, the Kitchen Store is the place for kitchen cabinets. Dial 310 Kitchen. That's 310 Kitchen, or find them on the web at 310kitchen.com. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum Mobile. You can save hundreds of dollars on your mobile bill. Plus, there are no added taxes, hidden fees, and no contracts. Try the Spectrum Mobile Savings Calculator today, and in three easy steps, you'll see how much you could save by switching. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save. Spectrum Internet required. Savings may vary. Restrictions apply. Visit SpectrumMobile.com slash save for details. Rick Edelman, number one New York Times best-selling author and founder of Edelman Financial Engines, takes questions on his radio show. Hi, Rick. I have a pension and can take it as monthly income or a lump sum. Which do you think is better? Well, the monthly check is only as safe as your employer's ability to pay it. And the amount will never rise, so inflation will erode its value. You have no access to the principal, and when you die, the money stops, even if you die tomorrow. So we usually recommend the lump sum. You get to invest the money however you want and generate your own income. You have full access anytime, and whatever's left over goes to your spouse or kids. But for some workers, the monthly option is better. So you should meet with a financial advisor to be sure that you're doing what's best for you. That's Rick Edelman, founder of Edelman Financial Engines, with his advice on pension. If you have a personal finance question, talk to an experienced financial planner at 888-PLAN-RICK or visit rickedelman.com. Ever since Donald Trump refused to accept that he lost the presidential election, national Republicans have been attacking election results and voting rights in states across the country. Now they've got their sights set on a power grab in California, abusing the democratic process with a recall that will cost taxpayers hundreds of millions so they can derail California's progress and take our state backwards. Who's behind this partisan scheme? Big Trump donors, big oil companies, anti-vaxxers, and some of the same right-wing extremists who attacked the Capitol on January 6th, bankrolled by the Republican National Committee. 
Here's how we stop them. Every California voter will get a ballot in the mail for the September 14th special election. Vote no to protect California and our democracy. Vote no to stop the Republican recall of Governor Newsom. It's a partisan power grab. Ad paid for by Stop the Republican Recall of Governor Newsom. Committee major funding from Reed Hastings and SEIU Local 2015. Take the shortcut to your next great hire. When you sponsor a job on Indeed, Instant Match immediately delivers a list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Let's face it, painting your house is a pain in the you-know-what. It's time-consuming, it's expensive, and what's worse, you have to repaint every few years because nowadays, paint is basically just colored water. Hi, I'm Steve, creator of Deluxe Life Coat, and we're here to take the pain out of painting. Deluxe Life Coat is a revolutionary exterior coating that comes in any color you like. It's 20 times thicker than paint, more important, Importantly, it's a permanent solution to the never-ending cycle of painting and repainting. Deluxe Light Coat has the best lifetime warranty in the industry. It covers flaking, peeling, and yes, even cracking. What paint can say that? Take the paint out of painting with Deluxe Light Coat. Call Deluxe Light Coat right now and get 20% off and pay no interest for two years. 800-947-5500. 800-947-5500. That's 800-947-5500 or visit DeluxeLifeCoat.com. Certain terms and conditions apply. CSLB number 774518. I was reading the, the Jerry Brown interview. Oh, yeah, I ignored that. We are ignoring that. I don't care what he has to say. I do not give a crap. He was gone for freaking what? 16 years? I did nothing. I don't care what he has to say now. I don't care. John and Ken. He's irrelevant. And he's old and stupid. That's exactly why I wanted to play it. We gave it to oh. on KFI. And uh, good morning. Bill Handel here on a Monday morning, July 26th. As we continue with the show, and we're giving you reports of what's happening in the Olympics, and a lot of it is spoiler alerts. And Simone Biles wasn't doing so well, except she still is number one because her level of uh, uh, her level of difficulty when uh, she does her uh, her various exercises is insane. But here's a topic that I want to cover. And I've done this before, and I'll do it again, but it's getting 